Is a club that brushes ground but doesn't dig in using a bounce? Is a club that digs in not using a bounce? Let's get answers to this and more in this little short video to help you start to interact the ground better. Don't forget, if you're enjoying the channel, like, subscribe, hit notifications, continue to support the channel, we'll continue to grow it. Okay, so let's talk about club interaction with the ground. Now, I did a video on bounce and how it's not the be all and end all a little while ago, but I want to follow up on that with something um, maybe a little bit more practical, a little bit more useful rather than just explaining the theory. Right, and I want to point out and make it clear that you know, just using the bounce doesn't guarantee anything. You can chunk the ball as badly as you ever have in your life and have all the lean gone from the shaft and still stuff the club into the ground. All right, it can happen. That means there's a lot more to it. Right, so if I can take lean out of the club and start to expose bounce, let's say there's 12 degrees on this, or if I have less than 12 degrees of lean, it's going to be engaging degree by degree. If I can do that, I give myself a little bit of a margin, but it doesn't guarantee anything. I could have no bounce whatsoever on the club, have it leaning forwards 20 degrees, not take a divot and brush the ground. So I'm going to run through and demonstrate a few different uh, combinations or variations now, all of which should produce okay interaction with the ground. Then I'll do a couple that aren't so pretty. So let's uh, take a look at this. Okay, so I'm gonna go with a ton of lean, right? I'm gonna make sure this thing is leaning forwards way outside my left leg. I'm gonna keep it leaning forwards. I'm gonna brush the ground. I'm not gonna take a divot. And if you saw this on television, you say, yeah, he's used a bounce really nicely, but there is zero chance. The bounce is so far gone. I'd need 30 degrees on this to make it work, right? So we're gonna go super exaggerated. Uh, at a huge, huge amount of lean, a rehearsal where I brush the ground. Obviously, I have to move in a certain way to make it happen, but I can brush the ground beautifully. No problem. Contact with the ground for about this long. Glide it along the surface there. Nice little low flight, as we've seen from down the line. Came up pretty low and hot, but the ground interaction was good, was good. And I didn't use a degree, an ounce of bounce. Unintentional rhyme. There was nothing there, right? So there is much more to it. Let's take a look at something else. Let's have a look at, let's say engaging the bounce correctly. So I'm gonna to start to move the lean away from the club and I'm gonna try and get a very similar interaction with the ground. So I'm making sure the bounce disappears. Oh, sorry, the bounce engages, the lean disappears. You actually hear that one. So that was in behind the ball, skidded along the ground, outcome right next to the stick again. Um, I'm using this because over there it's all rough around that green, right? There is no fairway to hit from, so we've come to the bottom end of the practice range. So I've got two different combinations going on there, entirely different. One of them really losing the lean in the shaft through impact, the other one holding all the lean on it, both producing good outcomes. Now, what do I mean when I'm saying that you could engage bounce and still stick the club in the ground? Well, that would look something like this. Let's see if we can get this wrong early on, right? So I'm gonna make sure, you see it from front camera here, I'm gonna make sure that that lean is disappearing really quickly. All right, now, proponents of using the bounce as the be all and end all would suggest that you can't do that enough. Well, they're kind of half right, right? You, you can release it an incredible amount. You can line the club up really early and get good outcomes, but it isn't okay in isolation. Let's do a bad combo. Right, so let's throw this really early. I'm gonna go club head first. I'm gonna try and use the bounce and see what we can do. Okay, so that was not great. Horror movie, let's start one more time. So I'm gonna make sure I throw it nice and early. I hit the top part of the club, look at that divot, right? There's no bounce engaging there, but you'll have seen from front camera, the lean was disappearing pretty quick. Now, the problem was that my club was headed underground a long way, right? So I was releasing this out, but at the same time, I was actually pushing with my right arm. Now, what that does, it makes a swing that's already getting wider, even wider into impact. So that club is heading underground by this much. Okay, no amount of bounce is gonna get you to get a good outcome from there. Impossible, just wouldn't happen. All right, so this movement in isolation is okay. That movement with a swing that's going too deep is a disaster. Uh, by the same token, a swing with a ton of lean and heading down on a very much a straight line this way is also not great. So let's demonstrate that one, another bad combo. 
And this is the one that players would usually associate more with bad shots than the early release that's heading on the ground. So it's all that lean on I had at the start, let's bury it. I mean, it came out okay, the club stuck into the ground, it wasn't pretty, didn't feel great. Looks like a missile, it's better than the one I chunked a minute ago though. So there is more to it. All right, so let's have a look at how we make this function better in the most simplistic terms possible. Okay, so we know that not using bounds can function as well, but how does it work, right? So there's a ton of lean on this. What I need to make sure I do is get the club very close to the ground very early coming down. Now what that means is I don't need any more downwards on this. I can start to move the club level by moving my shoulder, maybe my elbow, maybe my knee a little bit more upwards. Okay, so the club comes in very level to the ground. There's no risk of it digging. Now, obviously, if I were to try and throw it away a little bit or I was too high off the ground late, I'm going to have to push down and it's going to be no good. All right, and that produces that really destructive diggy outcome that using the bounce is the fix for, or is it? So, long story short, loads of lean, club close to the ground, get it brushing by making sure that the shoulder moves up, maybe the elbow moves up as well. Right, and that can give you that nice brushing strike, so something like this. Let's just repeat a ton of lean on it, Let's see it from the front camera here. Okay, no big deal. So when it goes wrong, typically the club is too high, too late, or it's thrown. Okay, so what about using a bounce? What's the key there? Now I've got to make sure that this club is not headed too far underground. Obviously, if I start to release it out and the club gets wider and I start to push my arm at the same time, that club is heading to a spot so far underground that the bounce never really has a chance to save you. All right, the club is still going to stick in the ground as you saw. So you need to make sure you focus on this key. As this club releases, this end of the club cannot get lower than it began. It can't get lower. If anything, it starts to move up in a very similar way to the shaft lean shot, but a much smaller amount. And also the club doesn't have to be close to the ground early. Okay, it's gonna be more of a sharp U shape at the bottom of the swing versus flat. All right, so I can really let this go as quick as I want to, as long as the butt of the club doesn't get lower than it began. Okay, and then we've got no problem getting the lean to disappear, starting to engage the bottom of the club. All right, so hopefully this very brief video, you've learned a little bit about combinations that can work, combinations that don't, and maybe why your combination doesn't work. Using the bounce, absolutely not a phrase that I'm going to use very often, absolutely can be a great intention, but if it's misunderstood or if it's delivered incorrectly, you've got no chance. And by the same token, you can have all the lean in the world and have negative bounce on the club and still take no divot. Now you understand why. And if you liked it, don't forget to hit the like button subscribe, hit notifications because I'm going to keep the content coming week after week.